anyone interested in learning about a ram pump, this is how I did mine. I have a stream in my woods. I put a 55 gallon drum in the stream and I have a one and a quarter inch pipe being piped down the mountain. It's not, it's not a big hill, it's probably about 15 foot drop here, but that's what you need to have a ram pump work. This pipe goes 100 feet, as you can see, down. Now the purpose of mine, and why I needed it, I, I don't have any animals here in the woods, and I wanted to get the water over to where they were. And I have cows, sheep, and goats, and it's uh, always a constant struggle trying to get water to them, especially in the wintertime. And so far, I really haven't had any problems with this freezing up on me also because it's continually running. So you get a flex pipe, one and a quarter inch, 100 feet going downhill. You have to have some kind of a drop, like about at least three feet to make this thing work. Here's the pump. Pretty basic. Here's where the one and a quarter inch pipe comes in. Got an on off valve. Pretty optional probably. Check valve. Um, pressure uh, indicator which is seems like it's off right now. It's turned around on me. But anyway it seems to be putting out about 20 pounds of pressure. This is the valve right here that is going up to my cattle. Um, most people use a PVC pressure pipe that they make and put a bladder in it. I just thought this was so much easier and I'll make every single one from now on with this tank. I got this at Lowe's. It's like $49. This is a five gallon tank. I just built another one with a two gallon tank. It has a bladder inside already. It comes pre-pressurized at 25 pounds, which seems to work good. This is... Now you gotta make the pipe going out smaller than the pipe coming in. So this pipe right here is three quarter inch. So that pipe is going straight up this hill. It's hard to tell from this camera, you know, the height of this hill, but uh, it's at least 20 feet straight up uh, that way. So, and you know, if, I feel like I could get a little more pressure if I continue to go further down, which I may do in the future, but it's working so good right now. It's not a lot of water coming out at the other end, but it's enough and it, it's actually more than enough, but I have 800 feet of three quarter inch pipe right here, which to me is incredible that it can push it that far. I'll take you over to where the water is. The thing that just really amazes me is that that pump works 24 hours a day. It doesn't need to be a lot coming out, it just needs to be consistent. And there's absolutely no electricity, no solar, just a great working water pump, nonstop, and it's saved me the headache of hauling water. I got six great Pyrenees, I got a few cows, um, sheep, goats, and I do have some water on the property, but not in every field, so it's just fantastic. This is the first year that I'm not hauling water to them in five-gallon buckets. So, if I were you and you want to do the same thing, just do your research. It's not that hard to build those things, and if you want to contact me about it, I have no problem with that. I'll walk you through it. It's not rocket science. This technology's been around for close to 300 years. And I don't understand all the science about it also. Um, it's more than I can think. And I just got out and did it. This other part of my property with really good running water, but there wasn't enough drop to do that. And if I wanted to, I probably could have built a dam over there 
and took the level up just a little bit. Here's one of my big boys I was talking about. He drinks a lot of water and he doesn't have to get very far now. So he might be getting a little bit lazy. Addy. Addy. So here's the water, 800 feet away from the pipe I just showed you. It's getting a little dark now, but starting to. As you can see, it's just very consistent. Non-stop, all the time. You could put a thousand gallon tank out here and it would fill up. My plan is to eventually take it up top of the hill there to the chicken coop. It's hard to see. Over here is another tank that I filled up last night in no time. I mean, I woke up in the morning and it was full and the cows haven't even touched it yet. It's not exactly level, I tried, but <laughs> That's a lot of water. I think that's at least a close to a 300 gallon tank. And this is a field I keep the cows in and they have, they love it. And in fact, a lot of times, I don't know why, but they like to just drink directly out of the hose. I have another hose going right here. I just connect it and disconnect it to fill each different tank up so to me it works i probably am gonna end up turning it off because i just don't want all the overflow and i mean the goal eventually is to you know screw a hole in the top of the tank and then run the water down there to the creek so that's it if you have any questions Give me a call, holler at me. I'd be glad to talk about it.